Leave. You already paid for a one night. Some odd ends I have to tie up. But stay here, I'll be back. We are curious, my graves. I wonder if you're missing me. Me too. You know, my odds and hints can wait. I'd be a fool not to share this time with you. Drain the glass to the dreads, so to speak. I lie when you speak. It's like poetry. Say, must I all my joys forego and still maintain this outward shell? Say, shall this breast that's pain to feel be ever clad in horrid still? Now swell each other's joys than those of conquest under worthy foes. Shall no fair maid with equal fire await the flames of soft desire? Those are your words. They are, though, in poor imitation of Mr. Pope, I fear. I don't know you, but I doubt you can write verse any better. Can you read, Lola? I can read men. What are you reading me? Sadness, I think. You are a man who hides himself. It shows only one part of itself to the world, but keeps the other to himself. If you value strength, then you're drawn to it in others, an alley, a foe, even a lover. But is one strength then meant to dominate another? This sounds more like combat than therapy, dog. And therein lies the rub. I hate mercy and weakness. But to be in love is weakness. You're putting yourself in another's power, allowing yourself to be dominated. But I suppose you know all about that, don't you? Do you trust me? I barely know you. Trust me anyway. 